I counted eight distinct shots. I think there were likely more, um, but they were happening so quickly. Farmington community members are reacting tonight after shots were fired during an officer involved shooting yesterday. A traffic stop in Farmington turned deadly after police shot and killed a 25 year old man who they say failed to comply with officers. Now this happened just before 3.30 in the afternoon when police say Chase Allen was pulled over in front of the post office and refused to get out of his car. An officer then called for backup and then police say shots were fired while trying to get Allen out of the vehicle. Darby Sparks went to the scene today to find more information and Darby neighbors say they actually heard the shots. Yeah, that's right. This post office actually sits next to multiple homes and apartments. And I spoke with one person who lives nearby, and she said that it sounded like a box dropping. Meanwhile, another neighbor said she knew exactly what it was, gunfire. I've heard gunshots before, and I immediately said, there's gunshots outside my window. A woman close to the scene said she heard multiple shots ring out simultaneously. I counted eight distinct shots. I think there were likely more, um, but they were happening so quickly. She told she could tell more than one person was firing. I just knew it was they were too close together for it to be one person doing all those shots. I heard one of the officers say we've got five shooters. But by the time she went to investigate the sound, it was over. By then, I mean, within a minute, the fire truck was there with the medical team. Is this a very strange occurrence? Oh, absolutely. People who live here say it's a quiet and peaceful neighborhood. So yesterday's heavy police presence alerted everyone nearby. I just know there was a lot of chaos. One man on the way to pick his kids up from school says he saw the scene right before and after the shooting, and it all happened in a flash. I saw nothing until I came back, which was literally about five minutes later, and then the entire block was shut down. Farmington police say that five officers have been pl placed on leave pending further investigation. Until then, we don't have any more information. Live in Farmington, Darby Sparks, KUTV2 News.